Welcome back to another YouTube video and this is kind of a live case study that I have done. If I'm being honest, I actually did forget about this website, but that is besides the point. I'm going to be showing you guys how I was able to get this website up and going and essentially how I came up with the keywords for this website. So. The website that we're looking at is Coffee Cups and Stuff. I believe I purchased the domain in December time. Um, and then I very quickly was able to get a list of websites from low traffic, or sorry, low DR, high traffic. Um, what I'll do is I'll pause the video and I'll see if I can find his Twitter. So this is his Twitter here, um, super helpful guy and basically his whole thing is that he tweets out about um, websites that have got low DR but high traffic. So for example this website here it has free referring domains, 30, it ranks for 38,900 keywords and as you can see it has took off very well. Um, you can get his list. I'll have a link or to his list in the comments, um, so you can essentially buy it and stuff like. That. I think it's like maybe a hundred dollars. There's probably a few hundred website ideas and website URLs that you can essentially grab. Now, basically, what I done was I used my page title generator sheet. Um, basically, what we have here <clears throat> is. A, the URL of a blog and then on the left or the right hand side should I say we have got import XML A2 and we've got forward slash forward slash H1 I'll see if I can actually zoom in so as you can see here basically this tells it to go to A2 um, and we then want to get a H1 from that page and then we click on enter um, once so I've just missed that command up there we go there and then it will do its thing and if we zoom out and then if we go to this URL if we just copy this just to make certain as you can see this is the h1 here um, so that's all I done when it comes to actual blog generation for this website and if we take a look it started ranking for 141 um, keywords I haven't built any links so it's naturally acquired some form of links there um, and if we take a look at the keywords do, 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 as you can see here we've got a lot of new um, new keywords that we have started ranking for so we have started jumping up to positions 25 27 19 we'll see what our highest yeah our highest at the minute is 19 so it's not doing too bad for a I don't know 40 day old 50 day old website as of recording this um, I have recorded a load of videos today um, so this will be going live in the next couple of weeks so Right now it's probably like 40, 50 day old website and we're starting to essentially show up for a few different keywords. As you can see here, this is quite a well searched volume keyword, 1,900 um, searches per month and we're in position 25. Obviously we're probably not gonna be getting any clicks for that keyword. Also one thing that I would want to um, just specify is I forgot about this website so much that I've not even set up Google Search Console yet. So that will probably be the next thing that I will be doing on this website. Again, this is just a test website. I'm, I'm just seeing what I can do, what I can break. We have a variety of different test websites at the agency. That's where I get a lot of the case studies and the, um, the test data as well. The team are constantly testing and stuff like that. So that's, that's a good thing. Um, but once you have got a list of essentially articles that you want to be writing, the next step that I done was I headed over to allblogging.ai and I just clicked login, dashboard, click here and then you can do as many articles as you want or you can do it as least amount of articles as you want as well. I just clicked on bulk generate, enter the articles here and then we'll call it Starbucks 
and we can then do English US or English UK. I'm just going to leave it as English US. You can also do add an AI featured image, which would cost you a little bit more in credits. I'm just going to click. Um, I'm just going to do it. Um, actually, what I might do is for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to bulk generate two articles. I'm not going to do five. And this will go ahead and do its thing. Now, we'll come back to this once it has finished and we'll take a look at some of the articles that it has generated. But in the meantime, let's take a look at the articles that have been published, right? So, as you can see here, the first set of articles were generated on December 2023. We've also done some in February as well. But as you can see here, this is an AI image, very, very similar looking logo to the Starbucks logo. Um, but as you can see, it has done all of the articles, the H2s. So I'm guessing that is a H2. And what's this one? Is this a H3? Yeah, so it's done all the subheadings that we needed it to do. And one thing as well that I did do is I used Link Whisperer to essentially do all of my internal links as well. So from an internal linking point of view, all of the pages are getting internal links once we are um, uploading them through to the website. We also have got an FAQ section as well. Again, this was all done with um, AI and auto blogging. One thing I will like to say as well, is that the quality of the articles over the past like 40, 50 days have gotten a lot better with auto blogging as well, um, which is really good to see. So let's take a look at the history tab here. So if we take a look, um, actually I am looking at the wrong history tab. If we take a look here, go to bulk generate, and then we've got bulk generation history. These are the articles that we should be looking at. So if we take a look here, we have got ravioli in a white wine butter sauce. And as we can see, that looks like a really good image. I'm actually uh, feeling a little bit hungry looking at that. But as you can see, this is the actual article that it has come back out with. Super good article. Um, it has bolded a lot of the LSIs and the secondary keywords. Um, so that's really good to see. Like, for example, carbohydrates is, um, it has been highlighted or it has been bolded, should I say, because obviously there's a lot of carbs in pasta, hence why they've done it. Vitamin A, um, I'm guessing you get a lot of vitamin A when you eat um, pasta. So that has been the article. What I'll probably do as well is I'll have another updated, um, I'll do another update in another maybe month or two um, for this website. Again, this is just a test website. Check out if you guys want to. Um, there's nothing really special to it. I'm not doing any form of link building just yet through to the website. Um, I'm just focusing on the topical authority and essentially covering the topic in its entirety. And a lot of the essentially strategies that I have been focusing on my YouTube channel um, I have essentially been implementing on to this website as well. So that has been my website review. Again, I'll do another website review in a couple months time and we'll see how things are going then. Um, and yeah, if you guys have enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and also if you guys do have any questions regarding any of these strategies, uh, make sure to leave them in the comment section. If you guys want a free 15 minute strategy call with myself, make sure to check out casualdash.com. Thanks.